we wanted to be upfront about this. Clark is a big part of our team. The most important thing here is caring about the human being. Clark has suffered a concussions. We don't know much. This has just happened an hour ago. Um, he spent time with our doctors and medical staff. Uh, we sent him home. He's going to be reevaluated tomorrow. Obviously, with concussions, there are symptoms. It's very complicated. So I can't give you too many answers today. We just felt, because Clark is such a good guy, such a big part of our team, that I should speak and just try to update you as much as we can. What's the level of concern with the organization right now because of what he's had to battle through? Oh, there, there's a level of concern with any time anyone has a concussion. In Clark's case, he's had a history. Uh, we held him out last year, even though he was cleared to make sure uh, that he'd be okay for this camp. I think uh, you talk to all the veterans, you talk to our coaches, you talk to myself, Randy. We're at a point where we're heartbroken here. It's a human being, it's his life, and that should be the biggest and foremost priority today. Sarah, what are your thoughts on, on the hit? And if you can, can you share what uh, Clark said afterwards? I haven't spoken to anyone. Um, I saw the hit in action. I saw it quickly after. I haven't really had time to evaluate. Uh, right now, I don't care about the hit. I care about Clark. That's what everyone should be thinking about. How was his response when he, when he left the building? Um, again, Gord, I wish I could tell you. I, I'm so sorry, but uh, all I know is that he saw our doctor, saw our medical staff, was driven home, and he's resting and will reevaluate re tomorrow. Have you spoken to Patrick? No, uh, Randy spoke to Patrick. Uh, I, I, I can't tell you whether conversation, I haven't had time to talk to Randy, so um, Patrick is fr new to this organization, came here trying to make an impression. He's been a physical player in the past. <sighs> I, you know, it's tough for me to speak when I haven't spoken to anyone yet. For what it's update on Mark Stone, sorry, other than yesterday, just suffering the concussion, do you know? Uh, Mark Tone, really positive today. Uh, again, I don't know much, just I was waiting. To, uh, at the day's end, we always find out everything, but uh, he was here, looks good. I don't even think it was every concussion is serious, as I said before. Uh, but with Mark, I think uh, there's no need to worry. Uh, he'll be back with us very shortly. Pierre, for what it's worth. C'est un être humain. La première chose qu'on ne doit penser, c'est à Clark, l'être humain. Puis quand on voit tout qu ce que Clark a passé à travers l'année passée, puis on voit qu'est-ce qui qu qu vient d'arriver aujourd'hui, on passe à l'être humain, sa famille, ses enfants. C'est la chose la plus primordiale pour nous en ce moment. Pierre, for what it's worth, the, um, and it probably doesn't mean much, but the reaction to the hit doesn't come as a surprise to you, I'm sure. No, we have a lot of guys in that dressing room that care a lot about Clark, that knows what, what he's gone through. So the reaction from our players, I have no issues at all. I'm even applauding it. Uh, they, they, that's a team in there. They're going to rally with whatever happens. And, you know... It wasn't going to be 82 and 0 this year. We're going to face some bumps along the way, and that all I can tell you, that room has a lot of character in it, and I'm proud of those guys. All right, thanks very much, Pierre.